All right, we got a Cosmo install, and we're gonna be replacing that, that work center with Cosmo the sanding robot. Stay tuned. Oh my God, I swear we couldn't make this stuff up if we wanted to. So we're just moving some racks out of the way uh, to make room for Cosmo. And I felt one of them and I was kind of like, ooh, I, I'm not sure, you know, I, I don't want to say anything bad, like, but I think the sanding could be a bit better. And so we picked it up and we looked at the door and the light and we realized that the panel had been sanded but the, the styles and rails had not been sanded yet. Well, that's a mistake, that'll never happen again. It's alive! I don't want to brag, but what time did we get here? Like 20 minutes ago, maybe an hour. <laughs> I, I think it's been about an hour. So in one hour, we go from a forklift at the truck to sanding doors. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, that's it. This is the suction. When we turn it this side, it's going to blow up. When we turn it on this side, it's going to suck it in. Okay. So, so this is like what pressure it has. So if it's like orange, it's the high. So now we're just running through how the HMI works. Uh, we're going to do the edges. Five more minutes, yeah, the customer will be sanded. We're just sanding the line the end Yeah, I like this. <laughs> All right, we're at door number two, and the customer is going to attempt to run Cosmo on his own. That's it. You're trained. Easy as that. <laughs> Well, we're three doors in, and I don't think he needs me anymore. Do you still need us, or can we go home? You can go home. <laughs> I got this. You got this. Well, the basics are covered. Robots up and standing, so our work here today is done. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow to start working with the team on flow. So you ready to sand with a robot yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So here's where the rubber hits the road. We start to teach everybody about flow and we start to get them tracking their time. Um, check out the quantum lead time.
over a minute. We got a little bonus happening with this install right now. We've teamed up with a company called Eurovac. You can see it in the corner there. Um, and we're just gonna show you quickly the difference in the dust between not having good vacuum and having good vacuum. So we'll show you the Eurovac quick and then we'll do a quick demo. So here's the Eurovac and one of the benefits is each sander has its own uh, sanding hose coming out of this vacuum and it operates just like a dust collector. It's a separator here and then it just goes into this canister which you change out every day. So great unit and then the hoses come here. Again, each sander gets its own dedicated vacuum. So what we're going to do is we're going to sand this door with no vacuum and check out the vacuum. I mean, it's like tons, tons of dust. So for this one, we're going to turn on the Eurovac. Nice quiet unit. And then we're going to sand that door. And just for fun, check out, we're going to take this piece of sandpaper or paper and just put it near the bottom of the sander. It's like sucks right on there. Same with that one. So you can see we got good suction at the vacuum. Absolutely no dust anywhere on that door. That door is finished. So here's a quick shot of how we typically set up a sanding cell. On the right hand side of the screen you can see this is where we do the hand sanding and prepping of the door for the robot. And then you see on the left side of the screen, there's a table. We use that as an offload and inspection table. So you work in a clockwise fashion, cycling parts through the robot. Brad, how do you feel about the robot? I think it's a good one.